What's up, family? Welcome to Mini Bites session 37. And today's theme is honing your craft, how to be good at what you are good at. My name is Erin McCluskey, and I'm a mindset and performance coach. If you'd like to learn more information about the work that I do or uh, reach out to me directly, you can visit my website at www dot Erin Jewel coaching dot com. That's E R I N J E W E L L C O A C H I N G. So today we're going to talk about honing your craft and how to be good at what you're good at. And so over the next few minutes, um, just going to break down, uh, kind of what this looks like. And, and this was inspired, uh, for a few different reasons. Uh, one of them being, I can vividly recall it was July 2015, I had uh, just left the company that I'd been working for um, for almost 10 years, and I was living in Hawaii, and I had just finished a yoga teacher certification, and I was having lunch with a physician friend who asked me this question, what are your gifts? And, you know, it just really came at the strangest time for me, because it was uh, a question that was being asked of me at a time where I really wasn't sure what my gifts were. And I thought I was supposed to have this really clear, concise answer. And I, I went ahead and I trusted my response and I said, well, you know, I'm, I like helping people. And uh, I, I can recall at the time he was kind of like, well, that's, you know, that's nice, but is that really a gift? And anyway, it just turned into a really good conversation that was super uncomfortable for me at the time, but necessary just the same. And so first thing I want to say is, you know, I'm still learning what my gifts are and I will be learning what my gifts are for the rest of my journey. Um, there are different, the way I see it, uh, there are different gifts that show up along the way. And during this season of my journey, uh, I have been made aware of certain gifts I have. So I'll share with you, um, what some of those gifts are. So for example, I've been given the gift of going through my own personal journey of kind of cleaning up my side of the street. And, and that means a few things that means doing some inner work. It means doing outer work. It means, um, listening to my heart and following what I believe to be a calling with work. So all of these things that I have experienced and continue to experience, I now get to share with others. So what do I do? I help other people, um, sort of, um, clean up their side of the street, get honest with themselves and, um, step more fully into their own power, which allows them to trust themselves more and it allows them to listen to um, their calling more. And that could be something professionally, it could be something personally. So that's kind of the work I do. So I have the gift of being able to share strength, hope, and experience with others. I have a desire to do that. I'm, I'm passionate about it. Um, I also believe that I have the, uh, the gift of being able to hold space for others to um, just be on their journey wherever they're at. And this is something that uh, I struggle with in some areas. I think it's harder me for me to do this with family members or people that are more reflective of me, but it's a little bit easier for me to do with um, some of my clients or individuals that are not as closely connected with me. Um, so this is something that's unfolding for me, but at the moment, I'm finding that I have this ability to hold space for others to simply show up as they are in, in a non-judging way. And so that um, has been really powerful and really beautiful. Um, so what I'll say about the gifts is they're continually unfolding. I also, in order to figure out what's, or in order to allow some of my gifts to shine through me, I also had to um, allow what I didn't enjoy to shine through. I also had to get honest with what it is I really was good at and what it, what it was that I really wasn't good at. And for example, in my previous career, uh, I was on a career path that ultimately led me to a position that didn't necessarily tap into my strengths. Um, I, I think in some cases it really did, but at the time I hadn't yet built that foundation to uh, really take advantage of my gifts in that role. And so I kind of, uh, I believe in some ways, put the cart before the horse. And so I think it's just really important to recognize what are we good at? What are we not good at? What do we want to do? And what do we not want to do? We, we can't really get to what our gifts are unless we recognize uh, what we can't do. And then finally, I'll just briefly comment on um, when, it's, when we talk about, when I talk about honing our craft. So 
A gift is to be cultivated. So a gift can be a really powerful thing, like my desire to help others and support others can also turn into a hindrance. For example, it can I can also come across as controlling. I can come across as self-righteous. My way is the best way. And so I really on this journey, it's about understanding understanding what my gifts are and also recognizing um, when to use my gifts and when to be still. And so that's kind of another topic for another day. But thanks for your time. Until the next time, be well. Thank you